Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here, back with a new video, and you are welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I'm back with another video, and this time I am not gonna review any room. And this is OnePlus Oxygen OS, which is installed on my Redmi Note 8. Full review of this custom room is already available on my channel. You can go and head over to that review and check out. The link of this review is already in the description. You can check out. Renovate Ice Cream 12.2 OnePlus Oxygen OS OnePlus 70 Custom Room by Bully Boxer. There are main thing and one of the big thing which is fixed is Bluetooth Media and all some extra little bit of bugs. I'll show you everything in this video in this update. So make sure you watch this video till the end and now let's get started. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, this is OnePlus 7T build on my Redmi Note 8, which is based on Android 10. And the full review of this build is already available on my channel. You can head over to that review if you want a full review of this build. It has some extra features, which I have already shown you, like rise tweaks, in which you just have to grant root permission and you will be able to customize your device like a pro. It has some extra features to customize your status bar, notifications, quick settings, lock screen buttons, miscellaneous horizon light etc 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 so let me show you first of all actually it is almost stable it means it fully stable because you're using a custom room so custom room sometimes cause some bugs first of all if we talk about gcam gcam is pre-installed it's working perfectly as you can see but one of the main thing which you have to compromise is you cannot use hdr plus you can see if you are using HDR Plus, your photos will be clicked in pink mode. So this is the bug still available, but I don't think so. This is a major bug, so you can survive without this thing. That's why I just said because it is a stable one. Yes, it is a stable one because this thing does not matter for everyone. That's why it is called stable one. One other thing which I got, as you can say, it's a bug too. This one is touch vibration. Haptic feedback is also not working and as like me if you are using android 10 i don't think so most of the people use navigation just navigation bar i personally use navigation gestures and a lot of the users also use navigation gestures so touch vibration is also not a big thing to keep in mind that's why i said it's also a not a major bug so you can survive without that one also and if we talk about some other things what is the main thing is which is fixed is bluetooth media I'm talking bilkul, absolutely right. You can see Bluetooth media here whenever you connect your device with here. In previous build, your device was not connected, but whenever you click here in this time, when you click here, click pair, and here it is. You can see your device is connected successfully. I'm able to connect my device with my, I'm able to connect my Bluetooth device with my mobile and it's working perfectly and this is one of the main bugs which everyone got in their builds and all builds has this bug now but in this build it is properly fixed so this is one of the positive things so that's why i just said it's almost stable if i give you the brief review this is oneplus oxygen os which has a lot of features pad this is a feature packed custom room where you have the option of screen refresh rate to 60 hertz or 90 hertz and don't worry this is not working because we are using redmi note 8 this feature is not available for redmi note 8 notch option is also fixed this one is also fixed if you talk about from previous update previous update has bug of notch it was at square and you have to disable that that squared notch in the developer options but in this build it is fixed if you click show the notch area as you can see it looks pretty much good so that's another thing which is fixed and all other things like ambient display display size status bar all other things are same like the previous one in customization options this is one plus 70 build so you get horizon light options available and horizon light looks very very cool like purple gold blue mclaren theme is available which is one of the best thing which i have tried and if we talk about at home screen which are the things you get here and we talk about icon pack you have the option of hydrogen icon pack pre-installed only this is the thing which you have pre-installed and these icons doesn't look bad it looks very very cool 
internet sound tiles is available too and in file manager you are able to see your sd card media when you click on install packages yes you are able to see these kind of things here so this is also fixed sd card available internal storage also detecting without any issues mtp is also fixed you can transfer the files from your phone to pc so that's why i just said it is almost and almost 99.9% .9 stable build for this device finally the smoothness is just awesome there is no single lag at all if you talk about installation installation is pretty simple installation video is also available on my channel you can do go and check it out right now so this was all from today's video from short and simple review i hope you like this don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'm gonna make a new video very soon on some gsis let me try so this was all thanks for watching have a nice day